Stages of fire. Incipient stage of this is the beginning stage. It starts when heat, oxygen, and a fuel source combine and have a chemical reaction resulting in fire. The fuels reach their ignition temperature and is usually represented by a very small fire which often and hopefully goes out on its own. Before the following stages are reached, recognizing a fire in this stage provides your best chance at suppression or escape. Fires in this stage can be extinguished or controlled by portable firefighting equipment. Smoke allows visibility in the room and heat emitted from the flame is low. A smoke alarm can be activated. Growth stage. Fire in this stage depends on the structure of the building and the fuel available. There are sufficient oxygen and fuel to support the ongoing growth of flame. A plume or layer of smoke above the flame is present. The temperature in the room increases. Condensation disappears from windows. Brown stains and cracks on window glaze may appear. Flashover. A flashover is the near simultaneous ignition of most of the directly exposed combustible material. In an enclosed area, dot, it is between the growth and the fully developed stages of fire. When temperature in the room reaches between 500 to 600 degrees Celsius, it can occur. This is how it happens. Hot gases rise to the ceiling and spread out across to the walls. Heat radiates downward and intensifies until all combustible items reach their ignition temperatures and burst into flames. Temperatures soar to as much as 1,000 degrees Fahrenheit in a few seconds. Even a firefighter in full protective gear is unlikely to survive a flashover. Firefighters are trained to recognize the signs that flashover is about to occur. Dense black smoke with tightly packed curls black fire. Dense black smoke that pushes out of a doorway or window opening. Smoke that has accumulated as low as a doorknob with the fire seam below. Rollover occurs when ignited fire gases or incompletely burned fuels rise to the ceiling and spread out horizontally. Then smoke appears to suddenly start burning. If nothing is done to ventilate the room or cool the air, this condition leads to flashover. Fully developed stage. On this phase is where energy release is at its greatest. The temperature will be at its highest point 700 minus 1200 degrees Celsius. Darker or denser smoke arises, substantial heat, blackened window glazing. There will be visible exterior flames, and the flames obscured by smoke, Fires reached its maximum rate and all combustible materials have been ignited. This is the hottest phase of a fire and the most dangerous for anybody trapped within. Decay staggers final stage of fire. It is usually the longest stage of a fire. It occurs when a fully developed flame starts to run out of fuel or oxygen, putting an end to the fire. To common dangers during this stage are first, the existence of non-flaming combustibles which can potentially start a new fire if not fully extinguished. Second, there is the danger of a backdraft when oxygen is reintroduced to a volatile, confined space. Fires can be forced into this stage by reducing oxygen supply. With firefighting equipment, limiting its available fuel will help contain the growth of fire, even if a fire appears to be out. Rekindle may still appear if the elements needed is still available. A backdraft is the abrupt burning of superheated gases in a fire, caused when oxygen rapidly enters a hot, oxygen-depleted environment, for example, when a window or door to an enclosed space is opened or broken, backdrafts present a serious threat to firefighters. This is how it happens, a fire burning in a confined area consumes all the oxygen, Visible flames disappear, solid fuels smolder, and hot flammable gases accumulate and fill the room. The temperature increases, the gases expand, and pressure builds, pulsing against doors and windows from outside. The building may look like it is breathing or throbbing. If an opening is made to admit oxygen, the hot vaporized fuel bursts into flames and the pressurized gases explode through the opening resulting in a rolling fireball. Characteristic warning signs of a backdraft include yellow or brown smoke, smoke which exits small holes and puffs a sort of breathing effect and is often found around the edges of doors and windows and windows which appear brown or black when viewed from the exterior. Due to soot from incomplete combustion, 
This is an indication that the room lacks enough oxygen to permit oxidation of the soot particles. Firefighters often look to see if there is soot on the inside of windows and in any cracks in the window. The windows may also have a slight vibration due to varying pressure within the compartment due to intermittent combustion. Backdrafts are very dangerous, often surprising even experienced firefighters. The most common tactic used by firefighters to diffuse a potential backdraft is to ventilate a room from its highest point, allowing the heat and smoke to escape without igniting. Importance of knowing the stages of fire one. To find most effective extinguishing method two, to minimize risk to firefighting personnel. Three, to predict the progression fire. Prevention is better than cure. To make sure employees or members have the ability to combat the early stages of fire. Make sure you maintain your fire protection equipment and have a training or drills once or twice a year. And if the fire is out of control, make sure to always call first the firefighters before trying to fight the fire. For more videos, hit like and subscribe. Thank you.